Okay, so uncertainty problem. Uh, to what precision, and I want the precision in nanometers, uh, can the position of an electron traveling at uh, a velocity of 1.89 times 10 to the fifth meters per second be measured if the uncertainty of the speed is 2 percent? Okay, well, I saw keywords that led me to believe that this is a Heisenberg uncertainty principle uh, question. Uh, precision, there's a percent in there. They, it talks about an electron with a speed. And this says the word uncertainty. Okay, if that doesn't do it for you, you have major problems right now. Okay. So, you see the one, word uncertainty, you must use this equation. And remember, we're going to change it to an equal sign to do our math. And uh, the momentum is just mass times the change in u, uh, h over 4 pi. Well, we want to know position, I believe, in this question. Is that right? Yeah. OK. So we'll solve for position. Change in x is h over 4 pi uh, mass times change in u. What we're going to do for the velocity, we'll plug that in. We must multiply by the percentage. I'd say in most of these questions, a percentage will be given, a precision. And that must be multiplied by the term it goes with. After you do that, you're pretty set. The mass is given on the back of the exam, and that's the mass of electron. Okay? So you should see it on the last page. So, H. 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. That's given on the back of the exam. So h is given. 4 pi. 4 is on your calculator and so is pi. Okay. So uh, m, I believe it's around 9.109 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. Somebody want to confirm that? Yes. yes. Okay. And then change in u. That's 1.89 times 10 to the 5 meters per second. That was given in the problem. And I also have to multiply by 2%. So I'll just do it enough times. Uh, 0.02%. Because that's the percent accuracy of the velocity. So Whatever that is, is your answer. Is that going to be a it's not going to be in nanometers. This will be in what unit? Meters. 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 So this will be in meters. So you'll need to know that one uh, nanometer equals 10 to the minus 9 meters. So you'll have to do one more conversion after you get do that calculation. Because this is an SI units uh, formula. I was wondering in SI units. <laughs> Anything else about this? So this is a really standard Heisenberg question. In fact, they don't get harder than this. Uh, you can't. They're all of equal level. <laughs> Plug and chug and that's it.